Hi engineers, today we're going to talk about the finishing of the wing. We have got all the ribs in place, the spars are going to be cut to the right length, and we'll show you what we're going to do for putting on the, uh, the skin and how we're going to form a foundation for it with very thin pieces of wood called stringers. Now I'm going to move the camera so that you can come down and see the wing as we have it now. There is the full length of the wing, and I have it lined up on part of the desk here. Now I'm trying to show that this wing is going to get gradually smaller, but notice that we don't have everything the right length. We've got a couple of pieces that are a little bit too long here in the middle. We can trim those down. That won't be too much trouble. I use a uh, piece of sandpaper that's on the back of some sponge and that gives me a lot of control so I'll be able to bring the top surface here down a bit make these things thinner it's easy now with this other spar we're going to mark our first stringer location and that's going to be along the very top of the ribs right here this is going to be a very important place where we want to attach the skin to the ribs. This is going to be a point of maximum lift. So we want to make sure that the skin from here to the nose is very tight and very secure. So we're going to put one here. And we're going to put one back around here. So that'll give us two attachment points on the top. There'll be one right here. And then there will be two on the bottom. One, two, like that. But for right now, we're marking where we're going to make our cuts for our stringer material. Now this is just about the longest, one of the longest pieces I have. Here's the longest. And that, these pieces were broken when I bought them, so I got them at a very good price. But as you can see, they barely make it to the last of the 12 ribs. And that's where they're going to stop, is right here. We will make an end cap piece right here. We'll cut off the main spars here, and we'll attach a piece of balsa that we're going to shape to make the very wing tip there. And that'll be one piece of balsa that will go onto these, kind of like a cap, kind of like this, okay? Those two spars will go in and the cap will fit like that. In the meantime, this stringer needs to go and I need to cut 1 16th inch groove. That's going to be a little bit difficult, but we can pull it off and we want to make that groove tight so that this fits in. Well, how do I know where to place it since this stringer material is very flexible? This is less flexible. I'm using one of my extra spars and I'm putting it where I want to go like so. And then, when I get it in the right position, I just push down and I rub a bit. See how I'm going back and forth? That makes a little dent here. And I can mark those dents with my pencil and these will be the places that I want to cut. Whenever I don't have a deep enough mark, I can just move down a bit and push down again. And now I have some more marks for me. It may not end up being exactly straight. But remember, these things are very flexible. If it curves a little bit, they'll still fit in and they will still form an attachment point for the skin. Looks like I have the last three to go. So I just mark the old places, line them up with the new. Now I have my marks. Now 
Now I'll be able to cut in each of these places a nice little U-shaped divot. We'll put the stringer into that. The hard part is going to be cutting it accurately. We don't want it too wide here. Okay, so once the stringer goes in, you'll really see the strength of the wing pick up. These stringers will add a lot of strength to it, even though they're small, and that will keep it from flexing so much. Okay, so now we have a 31 inch wing. I will mark it off here. There's 31. Here is where the rounded cap will go for the wingtip. And this will be the port side wing. It's really getting underway now. A lot of the work that we're doing now is very cautious work. Remember, you can't go too slowly, but you can go too quickly. So take your time on it and have some fun, all right? Thanks for watching. Don't forget, like and share with a couple of hundred of your closest friends. Bye-bye.